Hey everyone, how are you? Good morning. For this good opportunity, we meet again in the new material. Our material today is about should. Should to express advice, recommendation, or suggestion. Now look at the slide, the following. Hello everyone. Now let's continue with our material. Uh, look at that, the picture. What picture is that? He looked very tired after reading many books last night. What should he do? He should go to bed. If you want to give advice for someone, you may use this expression. Should use to advise to do something. If I were you, I would. You would better. I think you should. Might work. My personal advice would be, and so on. Should use to advise not to do something, such as, I don't think you should. I wouldn't advise. You would better not. And so on. Look at the two sentences here. Make sure we dispose the cabbage in proper place. Do not throw your cabbage in the wrong place. The two sentences are called warning. Someone warns person not to throw cabbage into wrong place. So what is should? Should actually is model verb. There is only one form of should for every single pronoun. So should here has pattern subject followed by should and followed by verb infinitive i should you should we should they should she should he should my sister should it should and so on so, all of the subjects here are followed by should. What about should followed by verb infinitive? Look at that some examples. One, I should do the homework. You should eat vegetables. She should go to a doctor. They should wait until tomorrow. We should study harder. He should apply for a job. It should be fine. Seeing that examples, all the sentences Should followed by verb infinitive. Should do, should eat, should go, should wait, 
should study, should apply, and should be. So they are all should followed by infinitive. Yamin should to explain to use to give advice or recommendation or suggestion. So when do we use should in English? Should here to give advice, suggestion, or recommendation. Look at the sentences. You should see the new Star Wars movie. It's great. You should go to dentist if the tooth still hurts. The test is next month. We should study for it now. So, should here used in the sentences expressing advice or suggestion. Next, should used to express expectation or prediction. Look at the following example. He should have the letter now. I should send it tomorrow. Our team should win the competition. It should be sunny tomorrow. Should here in the three sentences expressing expectation or prediction. What about should? expressing obligation it is not as strong as must sometimes should is used instead must to make rules order or instruction they sound more polite look at the examples application should be sent before the 10th he should Drive more carefully. Everyone should wear seat belt in the car. All of them expressing obligation. Next, something was expected in the past, but it didn't happen. We use suit with the following pattern should followed by have and followed by past participle what is past participle past participles is verb three this expresses the idea that the subject did not fulfill their obligation in the past or did not accept responsibility. You should be wearing your seatbelt. We should be studying for the exam. All the others pattern of should followed by be and followed by verb in. You should be wearing your seatbelt. You mean the person isn't wearing one right now. We should be studying for the exam. Here means we are not studying right now. So the pattern is should followed by verb B or verb A. And the next is should not. We use should in question when we want to have advice, recommendation, and suggestion. 
You should not eat that dessert if you are sick. You mean that is my recommendation not to do something, not to eat that dessert because you are sick. And then she wouldn't talk like that to her mother. Here means my advice to her to respect parent. So she should not talk like that to her mother. And the next is should in question. We use should in question when we want to have advice, recommendation, and also suggestion. Look at that the sentence. Should I go now? What should we do now? Should I wear a green dress? All the sentences here are asking about advice. Should I go now? Asking advice where the I go or not. I think that's all. The short explanation about should. So, here is task for you. What your task is, create a simple dialogue or short dialogue that you think should with the pattern should, followed by B, and followed by verb in. And after finishing doing your task, will you please send your response to my email here? That's all, I think, everyone. Thank you. Okay everyone, that is all for today. I think it's enough. And if you have any questions, please feel free to communicate with me into my mobile number 08117350052. Goodbye.